Hey Toyatics, this is Jody, and I'm going to do a what sold in March and April video and because I didn't get around to doing it in March. I was planning on doing it about the 15th of March and I was like, I'm halfway through, I might as well just wait. So here we are in May <laughs> doing the March and April sold videos. And I was asked by someone to make the pictures a little bit bigger because I know some of you guys watch it on your phone. So hopefully this works and hopefully I um, remember to say what things sold for. So first I wanted to talk about here on March 1st, I sold these pink nut cup candy Easter mini baskets. So these are, they're vintage, they were a hard plastic and they're about the size of like a cupcake cup holder, like a little cupcake holder, you know what I'm talking about? So they're little. Um, I bought a whole bag of vintage Easter stuff at an estate sale for, um, I believe I paid $5 for the whole bag. And then these four nut cups sold for $30. Easter stuff, yes, partly because it was just Easter. Of course, Easter stuff's going to sell well, but also just in general, vintage Easter stuff, 50s and 60s stuff has been really hot sellers for the last couple of years. Any of that kind of kitsch stuff, people really like cute kitsch kind of stuff, the kind of stuff that I would decorate my cotton candy cottage with. <laughs> I did actually keep one of these because there were five, but I, they were so cute. I had to keep one. <laughs> And then next here we have a Fisher Price Little People 915 Farm White Horse JC Penny. So this horse and um, the tractor and the cart sold for $30, which is higher than most of these items would typically sell for. But when I get vintage Fisher Price items, I we'll look them up on a website called thisoldtoy.com. And I did a video about it a while back, so I'll link the video. But um, I looked up this horse and it is actually from a JCPenney specific set from, I believe it was 1969. And so that's why it sold for $30 and it sold pretty quickly. All right, moving up here, I got in the estate sale cleanout that I did recently, um, which there are videos, the car was full. There's three videos of it because there was so much stuff. Um, there was a bunch of Dion quintuplets items. And so there were two little toy play plates with two of the little girls on it. If you don't know about the Dion quintuplets, they were um, quintuplets born in Canada and basically raised in a sort of a zoo. <laughs> they People could come and look in the window at them all the time from the time they were born until they were, I think, five or six years old. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure, but um, they were on display. So, and this was in the 1930s. And there was just tons of merchandise. So I sold these. I sold them for nine bucks. I took an offer for nine bucks. They were in poor condition and there was just two of the five. So, um, but a quick seller too. Now here we have a um, scrap lot of dog images. <laughs> um, I have done videos also before about, I like ephemera. And I like to buy old magazines. Old magazines can sell really well. But sometimes if they're not in great shape, like if you buy a lot and some of them are missing covers or they're, you know, they have water damage or whatever, I'll just cut out some of the ads and sell the ads one by one. Um, and I will cut out some of the interesting graphic illustrations and sell those. And this was one of those lots sold for $10. They're not quick sellers. But, you know, these were probably out of several different magazines, but if the magazine is damaged, it's going to sell for $0. So if you can cut out a few ads and some of the graphics and put them together in lots and still get 10, 20, 30, $40 out of a magazine that even if it was in good shape, might only send, sell for $10 is pretty good. But I do not cut apart good condition magazines. 
Um, here are some strawberry shortcake mail away dolls. They were, they're very small. They're like an inch and a half tall. And I believe I took an offer of $27.50 for those. And that was from my own collection. I had bought them probably 2003, 2004. And I'm just paring down some of the newer strawberry shortcake stuff to stick to the 80s strawberry shortcake stuff because that's my main collection. And then these were some, um, just some overalls that somebody gave me that uh, did not look very well on me. So I decided to sell them instead of keep them. And that was more than my sister actually bought them for me. And that was more than she paid. So there you go. <laughs> this is a bottle of Gillette Heads Up Hair Grooming Liquid. I have no idea what that means. I don't, I, it's not gel. It's very, very liquidy. But I bought this at an estate sale. I, the, one of the first places I like to go in an estate sale is the bathroom because there's always interesting stuff that's always underpriced. And I paid a dollar for this and it sold for $20. It took a while because I don't think a lot of people are looking for hair grooming liquid. And someone had suggested that it was oil, but it's not oil. It was definitely sort of a water consistency. So I don't know. And then this was a dress um, that was out of my closet. I got it years and years ago. I wore it a ton of times. And um, then I sold it for more than I paid for it. So I like to do that. <laughs> These are some earrings sold for $10 from my mom's um, jewelry box. She said, I'm getting rid of all this stuff. Just sell it if you want it. So <laughs> I sold it. And then these are some more of the baskets from that lot that I bought. They're $15 for those three little baskets. This blanket, they did not pay. So I still have that. And this daylight hat was actually from a free box at a garage sale so that was free and sold for $15. Again here's another item from my closet sold for $17.50. I bought it new for myself. I wore it one time. Didn't really like it. Never wore it again. So when I went through my closet threw it up there for more than I paid for it again because I usually buy clothes on clearance or like 50% off clearance. <laughs> and then these Playmobil zoo animals, I bought these at, um, at a liquidation type store. They were like $2.99 a bag and I put them together, sold for $27.50. Playmobil doesn't do as well as it used to. It used to do really, really well and sell really fast. It still sells pretty, pretty okay, but slower, a lot slower. This is a Fabergé Tigress Perfume Fabergé. It's just a little perfume container. It was empty. Bought that at a garage sale for a quarter. And then here's a dirndl dress again from my closet. Wore it one time. I think I paid $25 for it. So just got my money back. <laughs> Huckleberry Pie Strawberry Shortcake Doll. I bought him in a lot. I had done a, a video on that lot and then didn't list the lot for like months and months. And when I finally did, then everything sold really quick. <laughs> and this Huckleberry Pie doll sold for $30. I bought the whole lot, including several dolls in the boxes for $30. So he paid for everything. And then another Easter item that was in that Easter lot. I took a $10 offer on that. This is just a little Snow White was from 1991 this little pin and uh, because I made the text so large you're not seeing the whole titles unfortunately but um, I got six of the seven dwarves in these pins I thought I had all seven of them but I can't find one of them so I list in the whole lot of seven of them sells for like fifteen dollars so I thought, well, maybe I'll list them individually. And I've now sold, I think, three of the six for $7 each. So I guess that was better. <laughs> better to sell them separately. And then these are some die cuts. I like to sell die cuts. Usually holiday ones are the ones that I pick up. But these, I got a big stack of them, probably 40 of them for a dollar. And you can't, you can only see the edge in this picture, but this... 
this lot is just for the daffodils and the roses, but there's other flowers too. And um, I've been selling several small lots of them in four, six, or eight quantity for these ones sold for eight bucks. I've had them for a long time, so I'm ready to let them go. So if you're interested in large die cut flowers, come check out my store. <laughs> Or anything else for that matter. Here's another one of those strawberry shortcake dolls. She sold for $27.50. And then in the last video, if you watched, I sold a ton of candy containers. And I, I still have quite a few of them left. But the most popular ones have sold. This um, Howard the Duck with a cigar. He sold for $13.50. And then this doll, Scoodles, just did a video in the last month or so about a collection of dolls that I bought from somebody that I found on Facebook Marketplace. And I bought Scoodles here for $10 and she sold for $75. And then these are some tidy whities <laughs> They're vintage ones from the 90s. And I have sold, I bought like six packages and the first five packages sold really quickly. And then this one sat for like the last two years. I don't know why, but um, it sold for $15. And there's another one of the Strawberry Shortcake dolls. She sold for 20. As you can see, I have a lot of crossed out lines. I've been getting a lot of offers, but that's okay with me because stuff is selling. This is an international sterling silver soup spoon that sold for $27.50 that I got in a free box. These actually got returned. This is Barbie jewelry. This I knew would kind of be tough. There's no markings. There's no way to tell that they're authentic. Although I had a couple of Barbie experts look at them and say, yes, I think they're authentic, but there's just no way to tell. So somebody did buy these really quickly and then they returned them saying they did not think they were authentic. So I haven't relisted them, but I think I'm gonna kind of try and come up with some creative wording to say, hey, look, there's no way to tell, but I bought these from a Barbie expert so they would know if they were real right? I mean, I don't know. You know, I don't want to misrepresent that they're real if they're not real. This next item is an Easter fantasy white bunny rabbit. This is actually from a doll convention. It sold for $120. I bought this for $5 at that um, doll haul sale that I did recently. I also bought this Ginny outfit and any other Ginny outfits that are coming up at that same sale. I've sold several of those and dolls. The outfits I paid five dollars each for and mostly I've taken um, offers of $18.50 or made offers to watchers of $18.50 for the dolls and the clothes. The ones that are crossed out lines there. And then these were just some Bucilla holiday ornaments from one of those kits. If you find the kits, the kits can sell for like 40 or $50, but people, I guess, want to make them themselves because these sold for $15. Again, from that doll haul, this is a Madame Alexander funny rag doll. She is the doll that Cindy Brady had in the first episode of the Brady Bunch. So later on, Cindy makes the doll Kitty Carry All very famous. But in the first episode of the Brady Bunch, she has this doll, the funny rag doll from Madame Alexander. So that sold pretty quickly for $40. And some Barbie shoes sold for nine bucks. Another vintage Easter item for 50 bucks. Another item from my closet that sold for 18. This is a Disney rare 70s baby fitted sheet for a crib. Vintage Disney sheets can do really well. Vintage crib sheets can do really well. That sold for $55. And I bought it at a garage sale for a buck. And this is a strawberry shortcake Easter basket plush. I bought this at Goodwill a few years ago for $2.99. Sold that for 15 bucks. And you will see some postcards here. I've been listing postcards again. I have quite a bit of postcards listed right now. This is a cat with flowers wearing slippers. <laughs> that sold for $8. And then an 
RPPC is Real Photo Postcard. The man, the old man in the sea, which is a rock formation near um, Barview, Oregon, which is, of course, at the beach. Now, this is also from that doll lot, JJ Arms. He sold for $170. This next item over here is a vintage kittens twin size pillowcase sold for $9. Here are a couple more of those bunnies from that doll sale. They sold for $20 each, and I paid $5 each. And then there's a teddy bear, same thing. Sold for $20. I think the same person bought all three of those, and I paid $5. And another vintage Easter item, a Knickerbocker rattle for $15. And then I sold a Thanksgiving item in March. <laughs> This is a Snoopy die cut, and that sold for 10 bucks. I bought a whole stack of die cuts at a sale for like $3, so he was part of that. These are two little three-inch baby dolls. Again, this came from the estate clean-out that I did with where the car was full, and those sold for $10. Some Lizzie McGuire stickers. Some of, were in some of my teacher stuff, sold for 5 bucks. Fisher Price Fun with Food. If you come across things, Fisher Price things, you can check out that this old toy website and find out what sets things are from. If you can name the set or number, because all Fisher Price sets are numbered, collectors can find things really quickly. This is a giant deck of cards. They're like six inches tall. Uh, my mom had these in her crafting stuff. They sold for $10. And then this is another one of those Easter bunnies from that doll convention. This one sold for less because you can kind of tell in the picture it's kind of dingy and a little bit dirty. And it sold for $90. Another one of my Star Wars Shortcake items, $25 for that. A postcard for $6. This is a postcard souvenir set I had got in just a lot of stuff. Um, the souvenir photo sets don't really usually sell for that much. These are the ones where you open it up and it folds out and there's a bunch of like postcard size pictures. They don't really sell very well. This sold for $9 though, so that wasn't too bad. And this Jacksonville, Oregon postcard sold for $4.75. Carson City, Nevada postcard sold for $5. I had bought a box full of LOL dolls and accessories and um, this gal sold for $7.50. The entire box was $5. And there's probably, I don't know, 50 dolls in it. But they're not selling very fast. This is a peach blush strawberry shortcake pair of shoes. The peach blush doll, it sold for $23.50. As you can see here, there are, I did have a sale running for 10% off of some of my older things. And these Target items were very old. <laughs> I've had them for probably four years, but I had bought a, a huge box of Target stuff at Goodwill for $4. This was one of the last things in that box. Sold tons and tons and tons of things out of that box over the last few years. From that doll lot, a Flojo doll for $35. This is a peach blush strawberry shortcake doll. She sold for $20. No clothes. Here's her dress that sold for $13.50. This is a My Pretty Doll House from that estate. The car was full. That sold for $80. Some more LOL Surprise. Those sold for $8. Another postcard that sold for $5. This is a little Lamb Chop Night Light. Sold for $13.50 on sale. And this postcard, Buffalo Lake, Minnesota, real photo postcard, sold for $80. Those postcards that are actually pictures, that's why they call them a real photo postcard because it's a picture with postcard line and the word postcard and the stamp box and stuff printed on the back. Some of those pictures are a one of a kind, right? It was somebody had it printed that way and no one will ever find that postcard again because that's the only one that exists. And so some of those real picture postcards can sell very well. That one sold for $80. This little Russ lamb I sold. I bought a lot from Donatella Bottolino's auction. Paid like $100 for a whole big lot of plush. And I did record 
the um, unboxing, but unfortunately the light was bad because I did it outside and I had too much backlight and you can't see anything in the video <laughs> at all. So I decided not to put out the video, but this was the first thing that I sold from her listing. This was not from her box, but um, this is a orange it was a bright orange Russian Easter bunny. I bought this a couple of years ago at an estate sale for $4 and that sold for $40. Strawberry shortcake item, lemon meringue doll. This is a new retro, not vintage lemon meringue doll. I did a little short a while, uh, about a month ago or so, explaining how to tell the difference between a vintage and a retro strawberry shortcake doll because the Bridge Direct has is making these new dolls that look very similar to the old dolls. And so some people are finding it hard to tell the difference. So if you check out that short that I made, you can easily tell the difference between the dolls. And another item from my collection, just some little strawberry shortcake cosmetics that sold for $10. These are some Precious Places Magic Keys. That's another Fisher Price set. I bought a Precious Places Mansion off of Facebook Marketplace for 30 bucks. And then I parted out the whole thing. And so I still have several of the parts. They're kind of slow sellers, but I've made much, much more than my $30 back. That's for sure. Uh, this cute little book is called Plump Piggies. I got it from a friend and it sold for $6.50. This is a vintage Chrissy ideal dress. Chrissy is one of those dolls where the hair grows. I got a bunch of Chris Chrissy dolls and clothes and shoes from doll haul that I put up recently, which is uh, linked up above here. This one sold for $14. It was missing a belt. It had a belt that came with it. And then all of this elastic up here was pulled. So it needed a little bit of repair. Fisher Price Loving Family First Dollhouse from 1978. That sold for $50. Here's Chrissy's little sister cinnamon doll she sold for $23 and this little rocket was actually a belt buckle I'm not sure where it came from but it sold for $6.75 a Ginny doll she sold for $20 again from that same dolls lot I got a Kenner Steve Scout and Bob Scout doll this is Bob and he sold for $65 this cinnamon doll she's in a bit better condition then this one, she sold for 30. I had this plush Louis green plush doll. He uh, sold for 12.50. And then Huey, I think that maybe this one was Huey and this one's Louis. Anyway, he sold for $9. And this was a Miss Revlon doll that I got from also from that doll sale. She sold for 25. And she's an 18 inch one. Typically they sell for a bit more than that, but she wasn't in very good shape. So $25 I think was pretty good for her. There's a little strawberry shortcake herself. She sold for $35. And then we have a Disneyland record and book set, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. That sold for $9. All right, I'm going to try and speed it up here a little bit. You guys know the dolls probably came from that doll lot. And a lot of the toys came from that estate clean out. So here we go. Ginny sold for $18.50. Irwin Baby for $10, Ginny Doll for $20, Ginny Doll Outfit for $20, more Ginny Doll Outfits, $20 each from my closet, $18.50, and this Patsy sold for $55. Rose Petal Place Pieces for $9, a shirt that I bought at uh, Maurice's when I went there shopping the other day on clearance, it was $7 and it sold for $30. Some vintage stickers, $7.20. CNH Sugar Hawaiian Hula Girl doll for $13.50. Strawberry Shortcake Curtain Panel. It was only one side from my collection, $15. Snoopy and the Red Baron book for $12.50. An old picture of an elementary school class sold for $9. Stife Postcard. Uh, with advertising their plush. These are little squirrels that sold for $9. Little cosmetics compact mirror sets, $9 for the two. 
a advertisement page from an old magazine, $9. A monkey, $15 from Donatella Bottolino's auction. And a little Chrissy outfit for $20. Another Chrissy outfit for $23. Some minty freaking mullet lip balm <laughs> for 6 bucks. And another Chrissy outfit for $20. Another candy container, Mr. Bones. It's a little coffin and their little bones and skulls and stuff, all the little candy pieces that were still in there from the like 1979. Whoever bought them, don't eat them. <laughs> More Louis L'Amour books. These sold for $25 each. Some, I love selling infant, vintage infant stuff. These are nursery set mini storage boxes. I sold for $13.50 and this little newborn baby outfit from the 80s sold for nine dollars a chrome soap dish wall mounted from probably the 60s sold for 22 dollars charlie brown vhs for eight dollars and ten cents a chatty baby brother doll he's a 15 inch doll you can see here his legs are two different colors he was i sold him for parts he did not work and then a lot of chrissy dolls that were all damaged haircut not working correctly sold for parts for 35 bucks for the whole lot and then i sold one pair of chrissy velvet doll shoes for $27.50. Almost the same as a whole lot of broken dolls. Here's some candy containers. Those sold for $10. Another strawberry shortcake item, $13.50 and $10. Another Chrissy dress, her cousin Velvet doll, $12 dress only. And this is an old Myrtlewood bowl that we had around the house, sold for $12.50. Another Chrissy outfit for $13 and some postcards for $10. These were both some paper sets that I got from an estate sale. I got an entire box of paper, which included 5,000 pieces of cardstock that I use in my shipping. And these things for $5 for that whole box. And I think those were the last of the sellable paper items from the box. And then I still have... A couple thousand cardstock pieces. A doll wig I bought for 10 bucks that, or 10 bucks. I bought for 10 cents that I sold for eight bucks. A postcard of a carload of giant cantaloupes that sold for 450 and a military pin for $10. A Chrissy swirl a curler dress for $15 and a postcard that sold for 750 a Miss Piggy greeting card that sold for $8, and a set of Chinese Acro Agate checkers. They're marbles that sold for $25. Spokane, Washington, 1959 city map sold for $10. A lot of different maps and ephemera at a sale for a quarter each, and that was one of those. This little Barbie Skipper Babysitter's Ink Baby and Breakfast Tray these two sold for nine dollars i bought these at the dollar tree so i paid two dollars for them and they sold for nine dollars this is a package of self-adhesive vinyl like contact paper they actually bought three rolls of this that i had and i had bought these for two dollars a roll at an estate sale last summer and i believe she paid 23.50 per roll and she bought three rolls. So that was a good sale. Some more Chrissy shoes, $25. These shoes, these doll shoes can be a real bolo. This is a bell ornament that I bought at the Disney store and it sold for $12.50 and I believe it was $2.97. $4.50 for a partial sheet of vintage stickers. $7.50 for some vintage Crayola markers from 1986 that don't all work. I got those for free. $10.80 for an old stationary tablet that I had in my collection. $23 for a Chrissy dress. And this was a, a mystery box from the Disney store that I actually got as a gift and uh, didn't care for the character Hercules, so I sold it for $13.50. This is a print ad from 1906. It's uh, furniture, sold for 
and I bought a lot of Waterford Crystal and Yadro catalogs recently at a garage sale uh, for a quarter each, and this one sold for $10. This jacket I have had for years. I had two of them originally. The first one sold right away and this one sat forever. The first one I sold for 60 bucks and this one sold for $12, <laughs> but it's gone. So that's good. Both of them sold to people in Japan, which is kind of where I thought that they would sell to someone in Japan, but uh, there you go. This is a scream mask. Now scream masks can do well, but this one is not the best one. This only sold for $18. It's the kind that if you pump, if you squeeze that heart there, the blood pumps in the, to the top of the mask and drips down. But there are scream masks that can sell for hundreds of dollars. Here's one of those Yadro catalogs, $10. Some wildlife treasury cards. There's 243 of those that sold for $20. This was a super weird baby doll on a spring. I don't know if it like, I kind of thought like maybe, you know how they used to have those like gags where you have a tin can of nuts and then you open it and the snakes fly out and I thought maybe like you open it and you're like hey we're having a baby or something I don't know <laughs> it's just weird and then this is a Whitman 1960 Santa's workshop like a paper doll set I actually made a video of it because I thought it was so cool and that sold for $72 this is a little Disney porcelain sold for $13.50 and this is a Ginny doll. There were actually three dolls. A gal made me an offer, so she bought all three dolls for $55.50 plus shipping. Because I had originally had them for uh, $20 each. And, and some more Strawberry Shortcake stuff from my collection. A Scout mug for $12.15. I bought a bunch of like 50s and 60s Cub Scout mugs at an estate sale for a dollar each. Thought they might sell a little bit faster, but I think I've only sold two or three. A Beverly Hillbillies game that sold for $13.50. This is one of the menus. If you haven't seen that video I did of the menus, menus can be a mega bolo. Watch that video. There's some really good ones. And I actually have something attached to that coming up here in a bit that will really surprise you. So this is a snack shop menu. That's a, a restaurant in Southern California in the 50s. It sold for $50. This Cristina Italio, Italo Cremona Italy doll from 1967. She sold for $65. A bunny rabbit die cut for $12.50. Some baby Looney Tunes wrapping paper that I've had forever. Sold for $10. <laughs> a mesh random trucker hat from Heimseth's Heimsethag. I don't know. <laughs> I bought a bunch of hats for a quarter each. And that one sold for $10. A postcard uh, anthropomorphic cats in a band sold for eight dollars a menu ben paris restaurant sold for 45 dollars another postcard for six dollars and another menu from the pagoda restaurant in portland oregon here for thirty dollars three sticker sheets for six dollars sherwood room i put this on an auction because i wasn't really sure about it starting at 35 dollars and it did not sell so i have it listed as a buy it now for 35 dollars and then here's another one that did not sell the igloo diner from seattle um, somebody has one listed for 500 dollars, so i thought i'd go for it at 199 but unfortunately it didn't sell for that. And then here is a Chinese village restaurant to go menu from Portland, Oregon. Another strawberry shortcake item, angel cake doll sold for $12. This is a dairy daring doll, which is, which was the counterpart doll to evil Knievel and it's actually just her outfit and it's in pretty poor condition it sold for seven dollars this is a 1991 idol jenny it's just the booklet from the doll that is actually from japan and then i have another 
restaurant menu, Andy Wong's Chinese Sky Room from San Francisco. That did not sell for $35, but I have it listed as a buy it now at that amount. This Blondie and Dagwood wood puzzle thing sold for $15. This Playmobil Captain Hook with sword and trident figure sold for $7.50. I have a strawberry shortcake per peculiar purple pie man from Porcupine Peak Spoon that sold for $9. And a Crater Lake brochure pamphlet that sold for $15. A paper doll book with Winnie the Pooh that sold for $15. Another dress from my closet that sold for $15. More of those flower die cuts that sold for $12. A strawberry shortcake calendar from 2004 that sold for $11.70. And a Patty Play Pal doll that sold for $27. More precious places replacement pieces, $13.50 for two little windows. Now these little guys, I'm pretty sure I saw this on Bolo Buddies. They are Singamajigs duets. And when you press their belly, they actually sing a song and their mouths open. It's They're kind of disturbing looking to be honest, but it sold in just a couple days for $24. And this is another one of the Donatella Bottolino items that I bought. Um, it is a Shark Week Build-A-Bear plush that sold for $27.50. This little Toyota forklift is a 1 23rd scale die cast toy. It sold for 20 bucks. I bought it for a dollar at, at an estate sale. And another of the toys from Donatella Bottolino's lot that sold for 20, 23 50 I believe. This is Buddy the Little Fox Terrier. This Mark's train set sold for $30. And it's just a little metal train that runs on tires instead of a track. So they call it a floor toy. And this is a vintage set of Halloween stickers for $9. And a Haunted Mansion Not a Morning Person mug for $25 that I just bought from the Disney store. They had them on clearance for $10 each. So I bought two, one for myself and then one to sell and double my money and then get my own for free. <laughs> I like to do that sometimes when I'm out shopping. This is a Denim Deb paper doll book that sold for $13.50. And this is a Ruby Chows. Let's see, let's, let's take a closer look at this one. This is a Ruby Chows restaurant mini souvenir cookbook. So it's not a menu, but I had just bought all those menus and did that video about menus and my mom watched the video. So we had gone to a local antique mall and she was keeping her eye open for menus and she found this. Now this is three inches by five inches. So it's a little tiny. It actually kind of looks like it might be a menu, but it's actually a little cookbook. So this shows the name of the restaurant, Ruby Chow's, a distinctive Chinese dinner club, which takes humble pleasure in serving guests the finest and exquisitely prepared authentic Chinese food. Seattle 4, Washington, MA6707, which that is their phone number. So we know this is sometime in the 50s, most likely. So what I found out when I was doing some research on this menu was that Bruce Lee was a friend of Ruby Chow. And when he came to America in 1959, he worked at Ruby Chow's and he lived in the attic above the restaurant. So that makes this a Bruce Lee collector item. So I looked at Worth Point and there, the one that sold the, mo the highest for this little book sold for $35. So I started an auction at $35. I thought, okay. I saw some matchbooks that had ended for over a hundred. One was 180, another was 200 for Ruby Chow's. But I thought, well, I don't know, maybe it's matchbook people. I wasn't sure. So I decided I'd start this at $35. Within half an hour, I got a, an offer for $100. And I said, no, I'm, I'm just going to let 
the auction go? Then they, they sent me another message and said, how about $200? And I said, and I got several hundred dollar offers from other people. And so um, my, my mom and my sister were both encouraging me, oh, just let the auction go. Just let it go. You'll probably get that $200, hopefully, you know. And then the person who offered the $200 then came back the next day and sent me a message and said, how about 400 And I, I couldn't turn that down. <laughs> so I put a buy it now of 400 on the listing and he bought it. And then I got a bunch of messages from other people saying, you sold it. You said you weren't going to, you said you weren't going to sell it. You sold it. I wanted to buy it. And I said, I, I sold it for $400. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good sale. I was, I was pretty excited about that sale. Um, on that same day, I also had a Grand Trunk Pacific Railway steam continental route map listed for $34.99. And that sold with one bid for $34.99. It did not sell for $400, but I was excited about that $400. So that's my bolo for this video for sure. I also had some vintage Halloween makeup that sold for $12.15. Some more Chrissy items. I just bought this Barbie at a garage sale for $15 and she sold for $35. A Barnum and Bailey Animal Crackers game for $15. Another lot of scrap lot. This one came out of a, an old book that was damaged. I got probably six or eight lots out of that book. This one sold for $6.50. I've sold the other lots for, this is the lowest one. I think this is the last lot from the book, but I've got, like I said, six or eight lots out of that book. Now, if that book was in good shape and I sold it just as a book, it probably would have sold for about $10, but instead I've gotten 50 plus dollars out of it. So that was pretty good. I think another shirt from my closet. This was a book at an estate sale for free. And it was, it sold for $15. This book is called Roads to Everywhere. It's an old school book. It sold for $15. And then a Ginny doll that just sold for $20. And then we are into May. So I'm going to stop there. And this is a long video. <laughs> but I hope you're excited about that $400 sale. And I hope you go and check out that menu video because um, there's a lot of good information there and menus um, aren't really seen as being very valuable, even by estate sale people. And so if you find the right menus, it can be hundreds of dollars or uh, cookbooks from a restaurant <laughs> can be $400. Make sure and look for Ruby Chow stuff. That's for sure. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me on this long one. If you're still here, give me a heart emoji in the comments because um, I love you if you're still here at the end of this video. And I will see you next time. Make sure to comment down below anything you'd like. Like the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.